all, so I want to tell you my little story. So, I grew up in the 60s and 70s and 80s in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. Oak Ridge is known as the secret city, the atomic city. It is where the military nuclear compound is. It was and is. Um, when I was a kid, uh, back in the 60s and 70s, we had the highest kappa of scientists per anywhere in the world. And they were doing all kinds of weird and funky experiments out there at the plants. Um, and what was also happening at this time, it was about 1971, 72. Um, there seemed to be a, a rash of murders going on in East Tennessee. And people were being strangled to death. And we also had, at that time, we had an awful lot of uh, bomb protests, nuclear protests, outside the entrances of the plants. So we always had people from all over, you know, coming in and waving their signs. I can remember us taking Dad to work one time. I was about four years old. And I was kind of scared of all these people yelling and screaming at the car. And my mom turned around and she said, It's okay, it's your dad's birthday. And I'll not ever forget that. It's hilarious. But onward to my story. So anyway, they were all these murders. And they ended up, they put it on this hippie guy that was there protesting the plants. And he went to jail and I guess ended up in prison. But these murders were still taking place. They just kept them on the hush-hush. And I remember hearing my parents and their friends kind of talking about it. Not too much, because it is the secret city. <laughs> and so, you know, it, it kind of dwindled down, dwindled down. And then years passed. And when I was 18, I started dating this guy. He was about three years older than me. And he was a guard out of the plants. And we got to talking about that one night. And he told me exactly what happened. So, you know, I told you they were doing all those crazy experiments out there. They always were with radiation. Um, and you know how at that time in, in the 70s, we had a bunch of soldiers w that never made it home from Vietnam. And, and it was a big deal, and it's still a big deal to this day. But what happened is some of those soldiers, their bodies were taken to Oak Ridge secretly and they did experiments on them trying to reanimate dead tissue because they wanted to create like super soldiers. They thought they could, you know, manipulate them even better, you know, if they were zombies. And what happened is they were able to do it through uh, radiation and, uh, you know, whatever else. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but they did it. And so they had a bunch of these soldiers out there at the compound in one of the laboratories underground. And some of them got out and started killing guards and scientists and the nurses and attacking, you know, everyone. And they couldn't get it under control. So what they did was they blew up this building thinking that that would take care of the problem and all it did was double the problem because it blew up all those zombie soldiers into a hundred million pieces but a lot of them the hands made it through <laughs> so these hands got blown away all over the place and it's very uh, wooded area and everything so it's hard was hard just to go finding all these hands and so the hands got away and and that is who was committing these murders all the people that would be like out at the lake necking or you know hiking or places they weren't supposed to be these hands would creep up on them and then grab them by the throat and it wouldn't take two hands they could do it with one hand because these were super soldiers so they had you know super strength anyway so they got a bunch of the hands and they still have those hands out at the Oak Ridge National Lab and they keep them in jars because they can't kill them. So they just have them in, in jars of fluid and they sit there and just twitch around and scratch the lids trying to get out. So I want to warn Robin Crisp 
girl, you be careful. If you hear the, those oak leaves, you know, kind of moving around or think you might have a mouse, it could very possibly be a super soldier hand creeping up on you. So I hope y'all have enjoyed my tale or my truth. And I wish you all the happy, happiest of Halloweens. Love y'all. Okay, y'all, it's Cindy, and I'm back, and I want to thank Donna for putting on another fantastic collaboration, and I want to thank Yanya for my introduction, and everyone else that has joined us in this collaboration, and I want to send y'all back across the Atlantic to someone who has such a sweet accent, and that would be Sketching Greyhound, and if you do not know him, you better get to know him now. Now, I want to wish you all a bunch of peace, love, light, and I'm hoping you've had a wonderful and safe Halloween weekend. I love y'all. Bye-bye.